Welcome to the ratio calculator for MassCelebrity.com. If you want to simplify a ratio, take a ratio with respect to a population, or evaluate a combined ratio, you can use this calculator. And I'll show you how to enter the problem into the search engine to get what you need. So the first thing is, let's take a simple ratio like 9 to 6. Now, you could either type 9 colon 6, or you could type 9 to 6. Spaces don't matter. You know, you could have typed this. So we'll start with that. Press the calculator, return key. And as you can see, we jump to a ratio calculator. So 9 to 6 ratio really simplifies 3 to 2. And we show you how to simplify that if you click the GCF calculator link. We'll expand the font. 9 and 6 have a greatest common factor of 3. So that's how we get 3 to 2. Now, let's say we wanted to run something like this, uh, 7 to 5 for a population of 36. We could enter our problem here and press the button, but I want to show you how to run this from the search engine. So we'll do 7 to 5 for 36. Click the calculator or return key, and we jump to our calculator. So what this does is it takes a 7 to 5 ratio for a population of 36 simplifies it down so we would expect a 7 to 5 ratio for 36 we would expect 21 of item A and 15 of item B which gets us our 7 to 5 ratio the third kind of ratio calculation you can run is a combined ratio and again you can enter your two ratios here in these boxes but I want to show you how to do it on the search engine so we're going to do 7 to 3 and 5 to 2. Click the calculator or return key. And as you can see, it loaded 7 to 3 and 5 to 2 in this box. So we'll expand it. So the first thing it checks to see is are we going to have a least common multiple? We do. So it finds that for the A to B ratio and the B to C ratio. And then finally, it comes up with an A to C ratio of 35 to 6. Now, one feature that's not on this, this particular calculation is if 35 to 6 is not simplified, it's going to show you a GCF calculation to break that down into the lowest common denominator possible. Finally, on this problem, we have a generate practice problem feature. So if you press the button, it generates a completely new ratio for regular ratio. This time it generates a new ratio. So you can keep pressing this button and refine your skills when you run out of problems in the textbook. The last feature we have on this lesson is a quiz generator. For more information on that you can click the quizzes video link under this folder here. As usual, if you have any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the Contact Us link. Thanks for watching.